Hello there everyone, it's Kingsoft back again, finally, with another military reaction. I know it's been a long time, once again I'll say to you we have moved house, internet is still mad, I'm currently not even at my house, I'm on a call, which gives me a lot of time to record some videos for you guys, I'm going to get some bulk, bulk upload done, and it's going to be a lot of content for you, and hopefully, by the time I run out of these bulk uploads, the internet will be back. I'll be able to record all the reactions, get back to live streaming, and it's all going to be like this never happened, and we came off to a great start to 2023 instead of, well, still having no internet. If you are new, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, we're aiming to hit 3,000 subs. 3,000 subs by the end of the year. That's not a lot, considering last year we made over 1,500 subs alone. I'm asking for 440. That's not a lot. I reckon you guys can do it. You can absolutely smash it. Um, today we're reacting to The Crucible, which is the US Marines' 54-hour final test. I don't know why the camera keeps going blurry. It makes no sense. Like, focus. It, it does what it wants to do at the minute. I don't know why. When I look at the camera, I think it gets better. Yeah, yeah. confusing. But let's get into it. I can't. This Marine Corps nah. recruit isn't actually ah. injured. Oh. He's playing the role of a wounded Marine during a simulated casualty evacuation. It sounds bad, but the actual um, like simulated casualty drills was actually one of my favorite lessons we did. To safety. Not a comfortable thing to carry someone you do, you'd have to be lower. You sweat more in training. So you bleed less in combat. I was the most annoying person during like casualty drills. It was hilarious. The fact when I was getting dragged out, I was just screaming. I've got no head. I've got no head. It was just warning people. Ooh, go on. Fox, you're breaking down. I sir. Okay. I actually love the Insider uh, YouTube channel as well. So much content on this. Okay, that's more of a trust exercise. Okay, why's that bloke got his mask around his chin? It's like two or three of them just randomly lot. Gender integrated hotel company assemble in front of their barracks for a briefing. Okay, so Although ah, this is men and women. Paris Island since 1949, gender integrated companies didn't emerge until 2019. As of January 2021, I say. And out was the most gender diverse company of enlisted recruits in the history of the Marine Corps. Oh, uh, so they're all all mixed together. Obviously, they can't sleep in the same like rooms and that, but obviously they integrate the train together, which is in a way good. From Georgia, twenty-one year old Lazaro Cisneros and his nineteen year old sister Myra. My sister and me are here. I like that. Crucible together. We're in the same you're willing to drive you you will drive your family. family you can get through it we always get like a glimpse of each other it's actually motivating Just about so si. yeah that's your he positive that knows me. he's going through this with me he knows the pain i'm going through if you need a voice best thing to do it 2 a.m it's lights on in the squad oh jesus christ 2 a.m. What? I don't understand the whole screaming. I just don't get it. What I want to know is, do you get told that the crucible is going to happen on that day? If you know what I mean, or is it like a fucking, or is it like a surprise thing? Like the crucible is fucking going to be next week. Get prepared. And ready their gear, which weighs about fifty pounds. Fifty pound, fourteen pound to a stone. Nah, not that bad. They won't be for long. After one final trip to the head, the recruits. That was my problem. It said there, 
Uh, they're smiling now, but that won't be for long. That was always my problem. Always during training, it'd be people getting screamed at. I remember being like, trying not to laugh or smile. Why the fuck are you smiling at? And they're like, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I just couldn't. He's giving me so much trouble in Bible. You understand what that means, right? Yes, sir. We should probably scream a lot louder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A long hike in the cold darkness. A tab. Approximately six miles in length. So not that bad. Too arduous for the beginning, but just enough that they understand like, hey, you're on your own. We're not getting you bust out there. You're going to walk out there just like you're going to walk back. Six miles, not that bad. Let me see the terrain, though. If the terrain's like stupid. Okay, I didn't even show you. If the terrain's like hilly and that. Okay, but... It begins. Okay. Ah. I like this. See, I, I fucking love that. I reckon every single um. Every single thing you do, like this exercises, we have scenarios um, when you're doing lessons and something happens that you wouldn't really expect. Everything should have almost like a story behind it. It gives you the motivation to fucking listen, get the job done. Like here, you're you're gonna. This bloke jumps on a grenade with his helmet and his, his own body and saved two marines. Okay, so we're doing what he did. We're not we're not at risk of life, but we should. No, he knew what was going to happen to him, but he still fucking did it. That's like the ultimate sacrifice he did. And that's the motivation to keep fucking going. This group begins with an enhanced obstacle course. I don't know why you're smiling, but you're struggling with a simple obstacle. Isaac! Get on the bar. I sir. So the obstacle course is out there. They've seen it all before. It's just now we're adding a couple of more factors in yeah. to make it more difficult. Extra weight. Now they also need to safely transport 35 pound ammo yeah. cans across the course. Okay. Yeah, this is you working as a team. 15 burpees. Yeah. I remember that on the assault course. You fuck up. Burpees. It's just designed to you get punished until you fucking get it done. But also you're getting fitter as you do it. This is really good. Her fellow recruits were not. I'll let you get down 15 burpees. I'm in. I'm in. So she had to pay alongside them. Two, two. Go, you go together. Go. Go. <laughs> it's, it's not, I got no grip. <laughs> Did it? It's not that hard. <laughs> Positive energy. That was me. And that's what you're thinking about. <laughs> we got someone no heat. His nose is running everything. Only six hours into the crucible. This is it. Are starting to flare. Get you. Get the, Yo, you wanna freaking roll your eyes at me? No, sir. Get, get the aggressor up. Yes, sir. That literally just saw you do that. Oh. Yes, so, a lot of times they could get frustrated. Yeah, we'll get frustrated. Cold, tired. Comfortable. No, sir. Yeah, this is... Happens a lot. No, sir. Execute the daggone train. No, sir. It's a dang god train. I love the Americans. They're fucking great. Correct themselves, though, because at this point, they already know what's right and what's wrong. Fortunately, they'll soon have a chance to yeah. blow off steam. This, they step inside the octagon, known as the octagon. This would be such an amazing thing, for the British Army to do. Obviously, like the the Paris do, where they fucking just swing and swing till they get told to fucking stop. It's showing you've got the aggression, you can follow commands. Having this, where you have the chance to be like, okay, you're fucked up, you're pissed off, blow off the fucking steam, but also it's good for you to do it, it gives it a good test for you, whether you have the, the balls to fucking smack the person in front of you, it's good, it was, I'd, I would have loved to do this, the closest thing I came to doing this, in like training, was literally we were on our knees in like a, 
like 1v1 sort of thing and it was whoever fell on their back first lost and acted like 20 burpees which is a bit like this but less punch in the face because it was like bare hands so it was more like grappling throwing each other about it was, this I would love this I would love this oh sir yes get her in the fucking face <laughs> Going. Get that aggression. Yes. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, I have that switch. The winner of the bout runs through a hatch below a sign that says Devil Dog. Devil Dog. The loser reports to the penalty box. What's the penalty box? Form a series of planks and of exercises <laughs> Fuck. intended to motivate them to avoid returning there. I like that. So the, ne so the next time they get to go through again. Bro. Okay. I like that one. This is what I think I'd do well at. Just keep swinging. Just keep fucking swinging. Just keep fucking swinging. No matter how much you're getting hit, if you show your fucking keep swinging, you're gonna get into that devil dogs. To strike the body with no punches allowed above the neck. But straight punches do Straight punches. Injuries can occur. It lost this fucking nose. That's hilarious. There's a saying in the corner. A lot. Every marine. Is first and foremost a rifleman. Okay, that there, that there, every every marine's a uh, a, a rifleman. The, it's a similar uh, thing in the army. Like I was in the in the Royal Signals, I worked in IT, but they used to say it's soldier first. So in other words, your range has got to be good, your field craft's got to be good, BCDs got to be good, CBRs got to be good. It's not just about being good at IT. It's being able to be good also. If IT is fucked and the enemy are coming, can you defend yourself? Can you get away from the enemy? Can you save the person next to you? That sort of thing. That's what that's what they mean by Marine. You're a raw from the first. Send it to the British Army. Two weeks we do range week, but we do like different sessions. They've learned on the firing range with movement in a simulated squad attack. All right. So first, gonna be covering move. All right. And then automatically you're going to move in under fire, right? If people are shooting at you, automatically you're going to go to the prone, right? You're not going to give yourself that easy target, right? Yes, sir. Correct. The oh, so squads move together through a wooden... Ah, uh, so it's it, the blanks. Okay. Entrance to the range. Okay, now then. So you're going to stay tight to this tree line? You're going to run to that block. Go, 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 go. So you constantly fizz. Get them down. Roots fire blank rounds during the event. Yeah, I thought so. Because we've got the red thing. Providing cover for their fellow recruits while they advance. You got a BFI at the end. Their version. I like this. By now, these recruits have worked up an appetite. Cold rations. Straight up. What in what things are what are you see there you see people eating these ration packs most people will be like oh they're gonna be eating warm ration packs you know heat yourself up in reality that doesn't really happen i remember going through phase one and i knew of one person who actually was like oh, i am not eating cold rations and literally every single meal did it warm up every single meal everyone else was there like well it's still gonna go the same way come out the same way doesn't really matter it doesn't taste the best but it's just sustenance so literally we would rip it squeeze it down oh wow i just did that okay oh wow um literally just get it down yeah and get rid of it then get onto your other admin such as yourself your rifle your kit get prepped to move again whereas we'd have one bloke who's sitting there cooking his food i'm like bro you've got to get Moving is out. No, I'm trying for my food. Then it'd be too. Then be like, oh, it's too hot for me to eat now. I'm like, fuck me. You'd... He was that. He was that guy. Now they're going to be receiving a 
essentially field rations, right? Our meals ready to eat MREs. These are spicy. I know they're jalapeno. These are spicy. They're jalapeno. Counts as one meal. For the crucible, recruits have to ration five MREs over the course of the event. 50, 52 hours. No. You say not though. You say not. So this five. For Chow, recruits are tasked with posting security. Over the course of the 54-hour event, recruits sleep only three to four hours a night. Yes, sir. For both the moment. Where it happens in structures known as sea huts. What? For now, I have like good energy <laughs> left to complete the day. I've been trying to ration my food and been trying to St stay focused. Mind. When you get hungry, when you get thirsty, when you get tired, things start to slip. As bad as it is. His day comes to a close with one of the most intense events of the crucible. Let's go, you gotta save his life! Aye, sir. He's bleeding out and die! A simulated casualty evacuation in a combat scenario. Aye, Just screaming here. Listen, listen to him. Aye, You're sir. freaking out! Listen to him! Aye, choices. Aye, sir. No choice is still a choice! Aye, you sir. just stand there looking at me confused! Aye, He's sir. already bleeding out! You just helped him slow the bleeding! Aye, sir. You're being too slow! I'm not communicating! You should scream and speak to you How's it up? Aye, sir. Fox, you're breaking down. Aye, sir. Now I know that if you ever need to help anybody, you can't even help. You can't do anything. Aye, sir. They're trying to break you down. Aye, They're trying to break you down. Aye, sir. That's all it is. And he's scared. And he doesn't know what's happening. Your lives are in your hands, brother. You'll be alright, bud. We got you. That's what I mean. They always get told to keep talking when you're carrying them out, casual evacuation. If, if you know there's not a lot of risk, involved and they're still conscious and like they know it's not that badly life-threatening and you can still get them out safely or helicopters can take a while to get there you can literally you need to keep talking to them you need to keep them almost conscious as to your best of your ability so by talking to them you're keeping their mind active like i can keep going like oh sh are you gonna be okay you're gonna be okay keep on talking to them, like oh what are you gonna do when you get home all these conversations it will keep them focused and hopefully keep them alive even though some people get shot, but they sometimes don't feel it. If you stop talking to them, they're going to shot because they realise what's fucking happened. But it's mad, yeah, but I also wouldn't be doing this character, there's two of them. But in reality, you'd probably do one at a time, it's a missing a leg, follow and carry. You wouldn't have one arm over each because it's just dead weight. So both of you were getting tired, one person at a time. I reckon that would be one Let's go. I've been learning a lot lately. Combat training, combat care. This recruit noticed that he still has a lot to learn. So a lot, I still have a lot to learn. <laughs> to negotiate one of the most intimidating obstacles on Paris Island, the 30 foot tall stairway to heaven. Ready, step, step, together. Which all recruits must attempt without any safety equipment. That sound. That sound, that's not even that bad. That's fine. Wow. I respect that. That was me. I'm going to college. I needed the money. Exactly. And the career I want to follow is pediatrician, so obviously I have to go to medical school. What's pipe for medical and school? I thought, well, I need the money. Military's place to and go. So I went to the recruiting station and I told them in the phone call, I have a brother. Do you remember him? And they asked me to bring him over. So we went both together. They just convinced us and we joined. All right, that. It turns out that having a sibling in training at Paris Island isn't that uncommon. It happens all the time. We met another pair of siblings in hotel company. The relationship has grown stronger because at home we kind of just separated. We only played Xbox together from across the hall. Wow. We, came here. we knew each other, but we didn't really like talk every single day. But now you have to. That's the, the positivity. Especially when you speak to family, but it's so much easier as well while you're in training. That is so much easier. One phone call. Bam, bam, bam. How you doing? Da, 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 da. Good. Pray. Pray. Is that what helps you? Whatever helps you get through your day, get it done. We knew. It's not bad, but so they've, they've slept. They've slept. Like, 
the British Army, you know, on your final exercise, you're getting bugged out. Those of you know what bugged out means, it means while you're sleeping and sleeping on stag, someone's going to run past and fire a couple of rounds off into your harbour area. You then get out. Like, you have to just move because they found where you are. You're no longer hitting your dog. Safe. Get moving. Get packed up as fast as you can. If you're sleeping, get your fucking bag in your bergen. Puncture it. Everything. Get it down. Get it in. Get everyone on the fucking trap plan. Go. Get the stag out. Everyone just tabs it out of there. Everyone just get the fuck out. It looks like they had fuck all. They had a decent night's sleep. A couple of hours. And I'm not sure if they do do, like, getting bogged out. But... I would expect that to happen. Combat sounds bayonet range. Simulated casualties. Simulated casualties. Yeah, simulated casualties. There you go. And one of the most challenging. It's getting that drive, like you know. If your if your bloke sounds, you'd be like, mate, just fucking kick for me. Well, you're dragging him, shot. Kick your feet, please. Just help me. Valor's <laughs> use it. Jesus Christ. Including more than one hundred marines. Well. And loudspeakers play sounds of gunfire and explosions to create a more realistic. And that's actually footage from the the actual war, the planet. Mortar explosions that occur when a spark plug ignites a combination of propane and oxygen, triggered yeah. by the push of this button. It's fucking loud. I thought sometimes you can get some loud, especially if it's in a barrel and it shoots you up. Goal of the event is for each fire team to maneuver across the area with all casualties and gear intact. Drill instructors oh. that they fail to conceal themselves during their approach. There, farm and carry, get him up. Get him up there! That was my favourite one. That's the one I was really good at. I'm used to tabbing with white anyway. Me chucking someone over my shoulder wasn't a problem. Get him going. Slowly moving the casualties. I need assistance out. Embrace the suck couldn't have been more true here. Embrace the suck. You look to your left and your right and you see the guys next to you doing it. It just makes you want to push even harder. <laughs> Embrace the suck. Some of them will crack a smile and then you'll crack a smile. And we used to say, we used to say it's only a game. It's only a game. And in reality, like. The corporals are here and say, no fucking game, it's serious. And they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. And I remember literally being like, as soon as my corporal walked around, I'm like, lads, it's not real. Come on. <laughs> just like, just keep going. It's like, it was funny. Recruits who stay healthy and who don't have to tend to casualties are free to negotiate the course as long as they don't do anything that catches their drill instructor's attention. You're dead. Oh god, it's raining. It's even worse. Is where we found Myra and her squad. Thanks to a passing storm, what began as dirt is now just yeah. Well, that's just slop. My hip is starting to hurt, and I had trouble keeping the weather off. The yeah. Sand, so it was really hard this morning. I bet it was the weather. Weather is such a fucking horrible bitch. <laughs> Trustful. Everyone's everyone's slipping everywhere. Very exciting. Pushing through just like the beginning of boot camp to the end. But I'm done now. Happy to be here with my sister. Having once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime moment. Exactly. You never have to do this again. But I always used to tell everyone in my phase one, people who were struggling, I used to have a lad, I'm not gonna say his name, it was a little ginger lad in my in my section of phase one. And I know you're watching videos, he messaged me the other day. And I remember being like, mate, once phase one is done, you will never have to do this shit again. It's like, I know, I know, I'm not I'm not fucking moaning, just get it done. Like, don't focus on what's going on now, focus on in three weeks time, you'd be at pass out. Two weeks time, you're in pass out. One week's time, you're in pass out. 
the week of pass out is just drill. You ain't got to fucking worry about anything. Just got to march. That's it. Like, what you moaning that? I used to, I literally left a wife and a child at home. He lived down the road, literally lived in the town of my phase one. And he was still moaning, I'm like, bro, just get it done. Don't think about phase one, think about phase two, think about going to the unit where this is just a fucking thing of the past. <clears throat> are invited to share their personal stories in sessions called Core Values. I've been pushing myself as much as I can, everywhere I can. And while I had the smarts for college, I never had the motivation. But somehow the Marines is the one thing I always had motivation for. You know that one thing that everybody says that helps push them through? That's my mom. And that's my dad. He passed away two years ago and it's been hard on her. Oh. Well, I can't wait to call her and be like, yo, mom, finally did it. That's it. That's the fucking drive. That's the drive. That's what you want. Something to drive you through. Well done to fucking everyone who goes through it. Well done to everyone who goes through training. It'll join the military fucking hats off. ...and officially becoming Marines is a nine-mile hike back to the parade deck. Ah. But you're done. Just get it. Just walk. <clears throat> Everyone's buzzing. Suddenly, you get energy. It's amazing. But one last step remains. Each recruit get it. receives their Eagle Globe and Anchor emblem. Now she's a Marine. They have officially become United States Marines. Oh no. Close. Congratulations. I saw people cry. They'd got they'd done it. They'd like if you haven't gone through pass out, if you haven't gone through pass out, you will not understand the emotions you feel. You're stood there, you're not allowed to move unless it's a drill command. Your family are all watching you. Obviously here it's different, but in phase one in the British Army, your family are all there and they're watching you. And they're proud of you, and you can hear them shouting your name, and you're there like, I've fucking done it. I I have done it. And it, the, the emotions you feel, I remember literally sitting there going, I can't fucking cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to do it. And look, I didn't cry, which was amazing. But it was just a whole different feeling. You are so proud of yourself and everyone around you. Like, you wouldn't think of it. But like, I remember being upset, leaving my life. We spent 14 weeks every day, every night together. Every single like, minute of the day. People you spoke to, their fucking live streams, their highs, their lows you spoke to. And then suddenly it's like, okay, where are you going? I'm going to this side of the country. Oh, I'm going to this side. Some people I still speak to in phase one, other people I don't. But I respect them all for going through it. Respect. For the recruits, it's what they've been battling for for these past 12 weeks. And a lot of times it's what they've wanted ever since they were a child. It is absolutely amazing to see these men and women who have fought so hard for what they want and to finally see them achieving it. Well done to all of them. <laughs> Get the Ravelli. We started this together. We were going to end this together. Respect. What did that feel like when you put that in your hand? It felt like hope, a new future for our family. Respect. Perfect. She has accomplished maybe surpassed me. I'm her older brother, so I see she has grown. Oh, don't you don't you start crying? Woman, don't you start crying? Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> How excited are you for this breakfast? Oh, very sir. Very. What warriors breakfast? I think it's called. Is it warriors breakfast? So it's known as. Anchor ceremony is the most anticipated moment of boot camp. The Warriors breakfast. Yes. A close second. Okay, everyone, look at all that scrum. They're so happy to be indoors at that point, and they get steak and eggs. To them, it's probably the closest thing to home cooked meal they can get while they're here. They're incredibly happy. Look <laughs> at Thank fucking God. <laughs> That's fucking great. Well done, you made it. You fucking made it. Well done.
That actually looked fucking pretty cool. That looked actually, I would have loved to do something like that. The octagon would have loved that. Uh, Jerry, nothing looked too difficult, which is obviously that, but obviously this is the end. This is their last thing they do. Like, we get like a week of drill before we finish because it needs to look nice and fancy. These guys go on an exercise for 54 hours straight and just get beasted the whole the entire time. I'm guessing they do get beasted throughout the night as well. Like constantly sleep deprivation is a big, big thing. And if you get the more tired, the more mistakes you make, and it builds you more as a as a as a person, as a character. It's all about breaking down, building back up again. But it's getting to the end and showing you have the skills that you've learned for other the other what 12 weeks was it? And it's showing you can still work to get the job fucking done but that was absolutely amazing shout out to all marines in the u.s army was it you it's not u.s army it's just the marines is it the u.s navy marines are the separate i think they're separate but anyway it's been king sloth leave a lot of comments subscribe comment down below what you want me to react to next remember remember the sub gonna hit to three thousand by the end of the year it's been king sloth see you later